Hello YouTube, we're here with another RPG Maker tutorial. Um, I would like to show you that uh, I've made a Zelda-like minigame. Um, this is no script, all eventing. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we got. So this guy's gonna give me a casino coin, that way I can play the machine. Uh, I don't need to do that. We're gonna come over to this machine here. This. Some of you might have recognized that map from uh, earlier. And you can see when I press the W, uh, the little sword comes out, and uh, we're able to hit it, and uh, we knock them back, and um, whenever they hit me, the hearts in the upper right disappear. And see, I only have two hearts now. And then I'm kicked out. So I do a little bit better with a controller. Uh, eventually they do die. Let me get into the nitty gritty on how this stuff works. So um, this is pretty much this event just basically... Well, let's walk through it. It <clears throat> tells me that the machine takes a casino coin, asks me if I want to play. Yes, if I say yes, it subtracts a casino coin. Uh, fade screen. We change actor graphic and we consolidate followers. So regardless who your party leader is, we've changed the graphic to be uh, this one here. Um, it also sets variables here to five, which get used um, in the game itself. Exit equals two. Not sure, I don't remember exactly what I'm using the exit variable for, but we'll look for it in the future. Uh, anyway, uh, we click OK. We're just moving on. Um, we're also going to look at the database here. Okay. Um, Is it this one? Yes, okay. So this uh, this common event here we're using to um, basically make it all work. And uh, what we're looking at is the player screen X and screen Y as well as uh, the player's um, map Y and map X and then um, looks like we're look at that ag again um, 
So we've set two variables to players Y and two to players X. And uh, that ends up being important. Um, conditional branch player is facing right. So I'm going to take the game four variable, right? Which I'm going to add uh, plus one to it. Game four minus one. Game five. Well, vent 45. Okay. So 45 is players map Y, and 44 is their X. Okay. So I initially set it to the players, and then I adjust it based on their facing. Okay. Um,. And then we set local variable or set local event one uh, to variable the 44 and 45, which is the adjusted player's X and Y position. Okay. And then I'm going to show a picture um, in the upper left variable okay so this is uh this is an adjusted right because we set this to player and then we've adjusted it slightly um, on this section of the conditional branch based on facing um, and then we draw a picture on it and we have a five frame weight and then we erase the picture okay and we do basically the same thing for each of the facings um, and that's that's all the common event here does for us okay uh, it is a parallel process and I am using a control switch jump um, in order to determine whether or not the common event will run. Um, and that's just because you don't want it running outside of your mini game. Um, you want it to be fluid because it'll move, um, it's going to move the event, um, local event one. Um, set location event one regardless of what map and if the map's not built for that it's gonna mess things up okay so the next thing we're gonna look at is actually um, okay so this map okay this is event one Right, just a space uh, event ID zero zero one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this helps me. Okay, so we're turning uh, jump switch on, so the common event's going to be able to run. Uh, we are setting game data game two to five, and. Um, we are setting uh, variable control game win to zero okay uh, that'll be important for like basically scoring uh, your performance on the event so we're resetting this to zero 
so that you can run it multiple times and still be okay. Uh, and then it says erase event. So what that's going to do is it um, it doesn't trigger again until next time you're on the map. And we're gonna click OK. Then we're gonna click here, okay. Um, and this calls the common event, right? And it says show picture hearts in the upper left. Um, and what that's going to do is we've we've got hearts in the upper left, and we're tying that to um, variable game data two. Okay, and then uh, and then if it's equal to more than two, more than three, or less than two, it only draws the one heart less than three it'll draw the second heart uh, or greater greater than or equal to five greater than or equal to um, and then so like and then when it hits zero it's going to uh, It sets it sets the local event space the, the event zero back to zero zero on the map um, which is where it's located on the map uh, just so that it's out of the way and it's going to function and we're going to go ahead and close that out. Okay. And everything else is here on the orc itself, right? Uh, it also has game data. It's looking for basically it's map Y and it's map X. And it's adjusted um, map Y and map X. I uh, or no, and spaces map Y and map X. And the reason that's important is because spaces, um, I call the common event to it, like I move the common event, and that lets you know um, where the attack is taking place. Okay, so in this says uh, when variable game data 44. Okay. So This does a uh, physical slash left animation um, on the on the orc whenever the game data um, space location matches the orcs location and we also will scroll down here Um, 
So this exit, right? Leave variable 51 is my health. And this is game winnings. And this is the game variable. And this checks the player's position and makes an attack and adjusts the player's health in the variable. And if um, if that ever happens to reach zero, right? Your game data is equal to zero. It changes you back to the character graphic, right? It turns off the jump switch and it sets you back in the casino. That's effectively how this works. Um, hopefully I didn't forget anything. Oh. Um, exit, right? Exit reduced by one. That allows this to function, right? So when exit equals two, this appears, right? Is one or above? Okay, so is one or above? Hmm. Maybe that doesn't quite work right. But that's going to take you to this map, which is set up the same. And then this map will take you back to this map. Like you'll, you'll leave it and come back to it. Thought I had a, yeah. So that gives us a uh, an idea of what the mini game does and how it works. Um, I hope this was helpful for everyone and uh, wasn't too terribly long. I know that I kind of paused in a few places where it wasn't needed, but. Yeah.